So cloud computing is a big disruption uh, and a next wave of disruption in uh, the IT industry and business in general. Uh, it's followed on from many other kind of disruptive changes in technology from an uh, IT perspective from the mainframe, the mini computer, PCs, distributed computing and, and the internet. Um, the challenge we face from an enterprise IT uh, perspective today is that our data centers are typically rigid. They're not particularly agile. The reason for this is that they're complex. They have lots of uh, components and technologies in them and lots of leg legacy IT. This means that typically uh, something like 73% of uh, an IT enterprise budget is used to keep the lights on and, not, and that leaves very little for innovation. What we've also seen in the industry is service providers uh, who are building businesses that are the scale of the internet, taking advantage of virtualization and new associated technologies to build massively automated data centers. And this has meant that they have been able to offer IT services on a self-service basis. Uh, and then you have Generation Y. You have the rapid consumerization of IT from new devices and uh, users who have a very different expectation around connectivity, always connected. So then the business uh, and enterprise IT directors today are looking at how they use these disruptive technologies in the cloud to help reduce their costs, increase their um, business agility, and overall increase the, uh, the quality of service. At EMC, we see this as a two-step journey. And this is around, firstly, looking at your own private cloud infrastructures and, and then uh, assessing the public cloud. So from a private, private cloud perspective, this is about virtualization, converged infrastructures, um, and tools uh, and processes around automation to allow us ultimately to deliver IT as a service. So then step two is all about leveraging the public cloud. We believe that by properly assessing the applications and workloads uh, and which model is most suitable, you can make, take advantage of the compelling economics of the cloud and still deliver against security, trust and compliance concerns of the enterprise. This model is the hybrid cloud model. And from our research, it's a model where we see the most economic benefit being realized. Cloud computing really creates an unmissable opportunity for retailers. And in fact, today is already transforming the way that data IT and applications are used across the industry. There's three main reasons for that. One is the elastic nature of a cloud infrastructure allows for operations to scale and contract based on demand. Secondly, cloud computing creates the opportunity for resources to be put into the hands of those that need them as cost effectively and in as timely a manner as possible. And thirdly, and possibly most crucially, the retail industry is by definition a geographically distributed operation containing maybe thousands of units. Being able to share information real time on supply chain, point of sale, consumer behavior really creates the holy grail for the industry going forwards from here. A head of a business channel in a, a large bank recently said to me that he felt they were an IT shop that happened to do banking. And that demonstrates the frustration that bankers feel about IT can act as a constraint rather than an enabler. The cloud uh, starts to allow them to buy IT as a service and react much more quickly, whether they're buying the platform as a service, the infrastructure as a service, the software as a service. It allows them to innovate much more quickly. Cost is obviously a key driver for financial services right now. They're still recovering from the, the crisis. They're, they're still looking at getting their shareholders happy again. 
and looking at innovative ways of how they can drive costs down is, is a key thing. Already some are looking beyond the safety of their, their old data centers and starting to look at what actually can we put into a, a public cloud. Uh, others are, are, are being more innovative looking at we want to keep this private, but actually by building a private cloud environment, we can also sell that as a, a service internally and control our costs better. Security is the biggest sin single hurdle to financial services organizations using the cloud. They're concerned about control of their data, about the governance, risk, and compliance. A, a good example for me it, it, that came up recently at a CIO dinner was that somebody asked if people used Iron Mountain for their documentation, and all of them did. And they were quite open to the idea of handing over paper documents to an organization to store them safely and then be able to retrieve them without ever knowing where they were stored or how they were stored. Uh, the cloud is another step for them in that thinking, that if they can be sure that their data is safe, they'll, they'll happily use it. Um, those that have thought ahead in this area have realized that a modern cloud infrastructure that's well designed could actually be equally, if not more secure than some of their existing data centers as it adds extra security features. For me, the cloud at the moment is like the early days of social networking. Everybody saw it was a good idea, it had potential, but didn't know where it would lead. Uh, with the cloud, you can see that as businesses and IT departments understand its potential, that they, they, they could lead in lots of different areas. It's interesting to see that the economic modeling that we've looked at here is, is pointing to the cost savings that could be put into new innovation and into new business ideas and generate new jobs. And that's very exciting. Public sector, uh, as we all know, um, watching the news and reading the papers is undergoing um, significant transformation, both in terms of budgets that are being cut in real terms, but also in terms of the demands of uh, patients and citizens and people who are providing those services as they look to ways of adopting new technology um, innovatively and to deliver services at a lower cost and more efficiently. Um, we're dealing and talking to many different public sector organizations, be they hospitals, local authorities, police services, uh, and higher education establishments, uh, universities and the like, um, all of whom have grasped the cloud as a concept and are now uh, taking advantage of the reality of what cloud services can provide um, to deliver a, a more elastic, dynamic service at lower cost um, on a pay-as-you-go, pay-as-you-grow, consume-as-you-grow basis. Um, and these services are being consumed both as software as a service right the way through to infrastructure as a service. Um, many of the organizations that we're working with are now um, taking some of the concepts that are outlined as part of the government's G Cloud agenda and looking to create their own public sector clouds for their local economies and local communities and organizations around them. Uh, we're working with local authorities up in the north, we're working with uh, hospital providers down in the south and southwest um, and across to the east all of whom are taking leadership within their um, own uh, communities and environments to create cloud-based services to then provide them out to other public sector organizations, um, some of whom may be healthcare related, um, but some of whom may be providing community services or education services. And it's the power of the cloud um, and the realizable delivery of the cloud that is enabling all of these new things to occur. Um, the primary driver for all of this activity is uh, to deliver better or more effective services at a lower cost within the current uh, regime of uh, budget reductions, both in terms of operating expenditure and in terms of uh, capital expenditure. One of our major customers has embraced the cloud fully uh, as a result of uh, having to work within very, uh, very restraining cost budgets. Um, but believes the cloud it enables him to deliver a better, more agile service um, right out from his hospital into the community um, at a lower cost. He believes that cloud is doing something radical 
that transforms the way that his uh, hospital and uh, community services are delivered. One of the things we're finding is uh, talking to CIOs, financial directors, chief executives of many public sector organisations we're working with is that there is a real demand from digital natives, people who are used to consuming services on either tablets or mobile devices, who are used to having information on the go, who are now expecting services um, to be delivered more effectively um, out in the community utilising these mobile devices. One of the... Uh, one of the issues that IT functions have experienced up until now is that their infrastructure wasn't able to deliver um, effectively and at a low cost the type of services required into these mobile devices. Um, what we're finding now is that the focus on cloud services is having a double benefit of being able to enable organisations to deliver these services out to mobile devices and therefore enrich the lives of patients and citizens in the community.